Hello, Pisces. Welcome to my channel, Wells of Wisdom Tarot. My name is Camille, and it is my absolute pleasure to be reading for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading, and it may not resonate with everyone, but please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you like the way that I'm reading. Um, remember, roles can reverse, and not every message or every part of the entire message is meant for every single Pisces. So you take what you see and what resonates, leave the rest, okay? Thank you for watching my channel. It makes me very happy to read for anybody and everybody that I can. All right, Spirit, what is going on with Pisces? What is up? Oh, hmm. Two of Pentacles reversed. You're having some trouble planning something. You're having some trouble executing something, Pisces. Two of Wands. Two twos. Uh, you're making a plan. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Pisces? Thank you. Strength card. Spirit, can I have three more cards for Pisces? What is going on with Pisces? All right, Pisces. Sorry, they keep falling on the floor. Okay. You have the Champion of Swords and Hmm. So the Champion of Swords is like the Knight of Swords, and it was reversed, which is not a really great sign. Um, somebody in your energy, and this could be an air, this could be air energy, they are being impulsive. They are being kind of erratic and impulsive. And then the death card came out in reverse as well. And the death card reverse is like your shadow. You are facing your fears, um, and you're, you're ready to face your fears. See on the upright, it's the death card. Turned around, it's, it's shadow working, okay? It's your shadow self and you need to face that fear. Um, perhaps you did something impulsive or somebody else did something impulsive because you don't what I'm feeling right now is you feel a little unsure on what kind of plan you need to make. Uh, you know you need to make a plan, but right now you feel out of balance. You feel out of sorts. And you're making a plan, and that requires strength. And strength is the Leo card, and the Two of Wands is making a plan. Okay. This Knight of Swords can be impulsive, especially when it's reversed, because it's a reverse card. When it's impulsive, you are out of your your you're out of your depth. You're out of your understanding of what's going on. And that makes you face your fears. Okay. Let's see why the Knight of Swords is here. Can you give me some more clarification of why the Knight of Swords is here? Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Clarification on the Knight of Swords, please. Whoa, thank you. An emperor. This is the divine masculine. This is all four kings of the tarot. This is someone, if maybe this person 
is impulsive. Maybe this person, it could be a, a father figure, it could be a boss. Um, divine masculine, you could be out of out of your understanding, out of your knowledge, um, and being very impulsive because of your divine masculine or a boss or a father figure, okay? Or they could be. That, that's what I was saying in the beginning. The roles reverse. So you take that as it is, okay? When, if it doesn't resonate, let it fly. Scattered. Why is the two of pentacles here? Why is the two of pentacles here? Thank you. Hangman. A new perspective. You need to see something in a new perspective. This is for you because this is your card. You are the one that's out of balance right now. Okay. Eight of coins, dedication, and then the fool. So the hangman, the fool, and the eight of coins, you need to put work or more effort into seeing something in a, in a new way. You need to do, you need to put that effort in there and then that will free you up to have a new beginning to take a risk because right now pisces you're making a plan but you have to see something in a different perspective okay it's imperative why is shadow self why is the death card here thank you mm, you're going within the hermit is a Virgo, is Virgo energy, excuse me. But the hermit is, is soul searching for the enlightenment. You see that light right there? See, you see how she has that light in her hand? That light is the light. That is your, that's your soul. That's what she's going and searching for. She's going in deep to find her spiritual mastery. Her, um, so she's soul searching for something. All right. And perhaps it's after you see that new perspective that you, that puts you into this hermit mode. Hermit is not a bad thing, but you're hermiting to find what your truth is, what is just, what is right at the bottom of the deck right now, justice. And it's in the upright, which is a good thing. Libra energy. Why is strength here? That's too many cards. Well, maybe not. Hmm, okay. Oh. Pisces. There is going to be something that you, uh, you're going to see something in a different light and it's going to allow you to put down this heavy burden to balance and restore something. And this something that you're balancing and restoring was something that you felt heartbroken about. Something that you felt uh, somebody might have stabbed you in the back because this is the Ten of Swords. This is betrayal. But this hanged man, how I see this is this hanged man and the dedication to looking at something and soul searching and facing your shadow is going to allow you to have to unload in the burdens. It's a 10, tens are endings. To have the rev, the to have the resolution that you're seeking about a betrayal or something some way somehow where you felt backstabbed. Okay, perhaps by a divine uh, masculine, perhaps by somebody who's an emperor or empress. Gender doesn't really matter here. Okay. Oh, something just popped out. Okay, so you have the world, the end of something, the end of a chapter, the Nine of Cups, emotionally fulfilled. The King of Swords. And that is mind over matter. So the King of Swords is putting down boundaries. It's a highly intelligent person. Um, oh, and you got more. Hold on. 
justice did come out. So you are going to get your justice, Pisces. You're getting your justice. And especially having that resolution and harmony restored after your betrayal, justice. You are having a message from a divine feminine. So you have, here's the divine masculine, the emperor, divine feminine, empress. This is a power couple. This is the couple. This is the couple, okay? Following your heart is the knight of cups. And this is talking about an offer of love. This could be an apology. This could be how the resolution happens, Pisces. That resolution is coming because it is being emotionally fulfilled with a wish or it's getting what you want. And it's with somebody who could have, uh, let's see, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy. And with justice, it could be Libra. And the world is here. So this chapter is done which means there's no more betrayal. There are things here that it looks like you are healing and you are going on a spiritual journey to heal. And it could possibly be the emperor and the empress go to heal, or maybe it's just you or maybe it's just him. But that, what, it, what I do see here is that there are plans being made to alleviate stress, to restore harmony, and to get clarification or a new perspective on something that was very painful for you, okay? I hope that makes sense. I wanna pull some oracle, oh, let me shuffle. I wanna pull an oracle card for you, and it's some advice for you to take, all right? Pisces. What does Pisces need? What does Pisces need to hear? And this is the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron Reed. It's a beautiful deck. Pisces overall, this is a very good reading for you. What is going on? Or no, what is the advice Pisces needs to know? Advice for Pisces, please, Spirit. Advice oh, for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Okay. What is the advice for Pisces? This one wants to come out. A higher view. Card number 41. A higher view. And I have to be honest, I, do, I don't, I haven't memorized all of these. There's a lot of them. But we do have a book and I will be reading it for you. Okay? A higher view. Seeing from a higher perspective. Remember the hangman that you got. That's seeing things from a new perspective. Perhaps it's a higher one. The owls on here, owls are beautiful. And it's all about knowledge, so that's good. So, seeing from a higher perspective, conscious neutria neutrality, ugh, letting go of judgment mm -hmm, and assumptions, non-attachment, the ability to remain unbiased. Okay? Um, and I, I really honestly, and so, okay, let me read the bottom line for you. So, the bottom line is the world is wide open for you today. All you have to do is move to higher ground. Be mindful and celebrate the spectacle of life's dance. Now, when I see this, four and one equals five, right? And we did get a five right here. This is Taurus energy, five. Oh, sorry, not Taurus. Uh, Leo energy, five of wands. But remember, we had it reversed. Now, with this card... Well, four and one equal five. This is restoring harmony, right? 
higher view. Look at something from a different perspective. Yes? Mm -hmm. And the world. It's the ending of a chapter. All right? I hope this helped, Pisces. And I wish you love and light. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Until I see you again, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.